In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a border text animation inside of Adobe After Effects. And this video is sponsored by Motion Elements. So let's get into it. So step one is to actually create some text. So we're just gonna to go to the T icon and type out a line, a word, a phrase, whatever you fancy. Now, as you can see, my text is absolutely tiny. So I'm just gonna go into the character window on the right of After Effects, and I'm going to change the font. So I'm gonna go for Monster Rat Regular. I'm going to increase the size of this somewhere around 90, 80, somewhere around there. And then I'll just place this in the middle for now. Now, from here, you want to select that text layer. Then we're gonna go up to this ellipse tool, but we're gonna select the rectangle tool. And we're just going to draw a mask around the outside of the frame like this. So we want to follow the edge as if we're creating a border. Now from there, we want to go into text, path options, path, and you want to select mask one. And as you can see, that has now stuck to that mask. Of course, there are a few things going on here. First of all, you can see the text is on the inside. If we wanted to flip that and put the inside, then we could just select reverse path. But that does get that very close to the edge of the frame. So I might be inclined to just decrease the scale a little bit. So to do that, I would just literally just pull the scale down just a pinch to get that away from the edge. But if we go back into text, path options, you can see there are some other options here that we can play with. So we can put perpendicular to path and put that off. So as you can see, that is now all facing upwards, but I do find it's more natural just to keep that turned on. You can do force alignment, and that is essentially just going to make sure that the entire mask is filled. So because we've got such a short amount of text, you can see all of these gaps between each individual character. So if you did want to create that border effect, then first of all, I would just turn that off for now. And I would just repeat that text. So I would literally just go into the text layer, highlight everything, copy, Go to the end and just keep doing that over and over again and then once you've got something like this now you can go back into force alignment turn that on and as you can see that is now filled in before we carry on with this video i first just want to take a very brief moment to talk about motion elements Motion Elements is an online marketplace for stock video, Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro templates, title sequences, animations. There's so much for you to love there. And Motion Elements and I have teamed up for one year. They are the channel sponsor. So they are giving you an exclusive 70% off your first month when you subscribe. So if you want to speed up your editing and create amazing graphics in next to no time, then please consider checking out Motion Elements. The link is in the description below. Now. Back to the video. Now, as you can see, if I just press play, nothing is happening. We haven't got any animation whatsoever. Now we could go into first margin or last margin and we could just increase this value and that's just going to create some movement. But the problem is it's creating the separation here. And that is because we've got the force alignment set to on. If we turn that off and now we play with that number, you can see everything is going to scroll around. So now rather than relying on the force alignment to close the gap, I actually need to go in and adjust the characters so I can either add more text in, I can add more spaces. But the simplest thing to do is just to go into the text and I'm just going to go to VA, which is tracking and I'm just going to increase the tracking. So it's just increasing the gap between each individual character. So you can see we've now got the effect of the force alignment, but we haven't got it on, which means when we adjust the first margin, everything is going to scroll, which is what we want. So from here, we can go to the beginning, create a brand new keyframe on first margin, move over to around 10 seconds and just increase. And when we play this back, it's just going to scroll around. Of course, though, if you wanted to get fancy and you wanted to just do an infinite loop and you didn't want to do keyframes, then we could hold the option button on Mac or the alt button on Windows. Select first margin, so select the stopwatch, and we are going to type out the expression time times 100. And then do not press enter, click out of that because enter puts you on a new line and that will just infinitely scroll now. If this video was five seconds, five minutes, five hours, this would just keep looping and circling over and over again. Now you'll probably notice the edges are skipping a little bit. And the reason why that is happening is because we have a hard edge on the mask. So if we go into that mask, you can see there's this harsh edge. So instead we could actually go into a rounded rectangle tool. We'll draw a rounded rectangle mask like this. 
and then feel free to change the corners a little bit. So from here, you just want to pull this keyframe over to the left, this keyframe down, and we'll just pull these handles up into the corner like this. So we're really creating that rounded edge. So just go through all of your different corners and go through that same process. So we're moving this up and pulling the handle down, moving that across and pulling the handle across. So we get that nice curved edge. But once you have done that, you can now go into the text layer. We'll go to path and we'll select mask one, but we'll change it to mask two. Now, when we play this back and we pay close attention to those corners, you can see they're now flowing around the corner rather than skipping. And that's just because we've put a curve on the mask. Now, this whole tutorial has been about a scrolling border text animation, but the technique works for other shapes as well. So if you select the text layer, create a new circle mask, and then you go in to mask two and change that to mask three, you'll see it's now in that circle. But obviously we've got an overcrowded circle because there's too much text. So you'd have to go in and make that adjustment or you could just turn on the force alignment. It's completely your call. But there you go. That is how you would do this scrolling border text animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next one. See you there.